Hey guys, today we'll be making a trip to the Japanese Alps from Kyoto to see the snow wall. First off, take a trip to Kyoto Station. Take the Thunderbird train from Kyoto to Kanazawa. Then take the Hakutaka 558 train from Kanazawa to Tayama. Once you get to Tayama, head for the exit. You're gonna see something like this, nice view, and this is what the station looks like. You're gonna need to head towards the south exit to get to Toyama, then Tetsu. And that building looks like this. You just walk through there, and you get to Dentetsu Toyama. At Dentetsu Toyama, you're gonna have to exchange your tickets if they look like this. Note that the cost was $100 per person to take the Tatayama Kurobe Alpine route, which is interesting because of the fact that it takes you through many different modes of transport, like this on the left side, you see that we take a train to Tatayama. Then, of course, there's a cable car, a Highland bus, a trolley bus, a ropeway, a cable car, and then an electric bus. All in one day. It takes up your whole day, so just plan out for that. Now we're going to take the 60-minute train to Tatayama Station. Just sit back and enjoy the amazing views and scenery as they pass by. After which, use the same ticket to board the cable car headed towards Ogizawa, which will drop you off at Bijodaira Station. And from Bijodaira, we're going to use the same ticket to follow the Alpine route all the way up to take the bus to Morudo, which is the next city. The bus to Marudo takes about 15 minutes, which I highly recommend that you sit on the left side to see the best views of the mountain. You'll know you've reached Marudo when you see a line of people walking up and down the snow wall. And now we've reached Marudo where you can see a gift shop, restaurants, and then the transportation to the next place. But first we're going to walk out to enjoy the snow wall and the sights of the local mountains. sides take a look at that literally three times my height that is how tall the snow wall is look at that at the end of the walk you see the highest point of the snow wall which on this day it was 16 meters Once you're done, it's time to take the Tateyama trolley bus to Kurobe Dam. At the end of this stop, you have to take the cable car to Daikanbo, which is what we're doing now. Everybody's crammed in the train. <laughs> And 
after that fun ride, you take a, another cable car to Kurobeko. From Kurobeko, we're going to take a 15 minute walk over a dam and catch the bus. See you on the other side. That side of the dam is the higher part. The lower side of the dam is... Oh my goodness! Woo! And upon crossing the dam, you have the choice of walking up these steps to the dam observatory or just continue on your way along the Alpine route. While waiting, While waiting for the next bus, you can look at this scale model of the dam, 1 to 186. And of course, depending on what time of the year you go, be mindful as there may be a crowd like this of people waiting to take every single Stop along the way. Now we're going to take the bus for Shinano Umachi Nagano. Now the unfortunate part of this bus is maybe we took it wrong but we ended up at Shinano Onachi instead of going straight to Nagano. So at this place we had to transfer it to Nagano. So here's the bus schedule. We ended up waiting at the bus stop for about 30 minutes until the next bus came to take us to Nagano. And at Nagano, it was time to do the opposite of what we did in the morning, which we took the train now from Nagano to Kanazawa, and then Kanazawa back to Kyoto. So this is a very long day. As you can see, 5.48 p.m. getting back from Nagano to Kanazawa and going from there. But yeah, that's it. That's a whole Japanese alpine route, including the snow wall. Please like, subscribe, comment, let me know your thoughts, and I hope to see you next video. Bye.